David Gillespie says. I think it's, there's a bit more to it than that, but this was my, how I came to it. And the average Australian is having 30 teaspoons of sugar a day. The American Heart Association came out and made a statement on sugar in 2009. And what did they say? Maximum of six for women, nine for men. And that's not what you should have. That's the prudent upper level. You do not need any sugar. There are essential fats. There are essential proteins, essential amino acids. There are no essential carbohydrates. You don't need any. Uh, so David's talked quite a lot about fructose. And I won't go into detail, but there is there's a pretty big cloud hanging over fructose for what it does uh, in the body. And um, we've managed without it, essentially. Or maybe one teaspoon a day for the last however many million years. Do we really need 30 now? I don't think so. I probably have about two or three teaspoons max, I would say, in the foods I eat now. I got, I organised a study at a hospital I work at, Epworth Hospital, and I got support from a cardiologist. I've given talks to um, cardiologists and groups of doctors and uh, other scientists, and of course I've given a lot of presentations to staff members at hospitals. And I put together a study with the support of a cardiologist and an intensive care physician, and it was based around this sugar calculator. You can find it on my site. Um, giveupsugar.com and it really gives you an estimate of how many teaspoons of sugar a day you're having. And so it goes through those categories of soft drink, fruit juice, breakfast cereal, yogurt, added sugar of course, dried fruit, chocolate, desserts and ice creams, honeys and jams, sauces, sweet biscuits and cake, alcohol's in there too. That's another story for another time. But alcohol behaves very much like sugar in its metabolism and where it goes, to fat. Now, the average Australian, as I was saying, has 30 teaspoons of sugar, but the group at Epworth Hospital, staff members, we recruited 158 to this study. Their average age, mostly female, 88%, mostly nurses. Epworth Hospital's in Richmond, sort of higher socioeconomic area. So fairly educated, articulate bunch of people in the study. Average age, 41. Average number of teaspoons of sugar consumed. Oh, sorry, average weight should come next, 71 kilos. Average BMI, 25.6. So the average is into the overweight category. And uh, most, uh, most people average age 41 don't want to be average height about 5'6", don't really want to be 71 kilos. Teaspoons of sugar, 15.6. So they're better than the Australian average, but not perfect. Um, a little bit on the results of the study, um, particularly the early follow-up. Out of the first 70, followed them up pretty closely but managed to follow up about 50. I'd say about 30 of them were really doing it. About 20 of those had lost weight. They'd lost an average of about three kilos. There was a couple of eight and nine kilos after three months of, of dropping sugar. And we hadn't advocated anything else. We hadn't advocated dropping other sugar, any other, other, other elements. So just on doing that, um, about 20 of them, um, sorry, maybe about 25 of them. There were five, however, who had really tried and they were disappointed that they hadn't, you know, they'd cut down maybe, say, from 12 teaspoons of sugar a day to none, um, but it hadn't changed the effect on them, on them. And at this stage, I had been sort of starting to get a bit interested in refined carbohydrates. And I said to one of them, who's, who I call Lauren, I said, who, Lauren was about 40, two kids, you know, maybe four and six, really trying hard, but couldn't shift that weight 
big 72 kilos. I said, Lauren, you know, I've been thinking about this, I'm wondering if it's not just the sugar, but maybe the refined carbs are a problem too. She said, oh no, I love my carbs. <laughs> and it took a while, but eventually, of the five people who were struggling and reducing their refined carbohydrates, the weight started to shift off. Lauren lost three or four kilos. She was absolutely wrapped. She felt in control again and was going in a good direction, as were a couple of the 